Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to set it. Not type 2 or 1 on your PlayStation 3 using a Linksys router. So first what you're going to need to do is have a static IP address on your PlayStation. I'm going to put a link in the description below for a video on how to do that. I recommend watching that video first before you continue watching this one. And I'm going to show you all the steps you need to do to make sure it's 2 or 1 from simple to the most advanced settings and steps. So pretty much what you want is NAT type 2 or 1. 3 is strict, which means you can only connect to 1. 2 means you can connect to 2 and 1. Most people have 2. Okay. Now, you, once you have your static IP address, open up your browser. And in the URL, you're going to type in 192.168.1.1. It's going to ask you for this. If you've never been on your router before, the username is going to be admin. Password is going to be ad admin. Okay, now you're in your router setting. Once you're in here, you're going to go to administration. Make sure UPnP is enabled. If it's not, enable it and click save settings. And then turn off, unplug your router from the power for 10 seconds and turn off your PS3. Plug in your router again and turn your, on your PS3 again. And if, still, if that still doesn't give you 2 or 1, then do this next step. You don't want to go to applications and gaming. DMZ, and you're going to enter the static IP address of your PlayStation, the last digits. Hit enable, save settings. I'm not going to do it right now. Again, reboot your Linksys by unplugging it for 10 seconds and turn off your PS3 and turn it back on. Once you have that done, you're going to go to security and make sure filter nat internet nat redirection is unchecked, just like that click save settings okay <sighs> next if that doesn't work after you reboot it go to applications and then gaming now I'm gonna have a link in the description below to all the ports you need for PlayStation for uh, PlayStation Network and it should have the TCP TCP to like tell you which ones are TCP and which ones are UDP and here you're going to enter the stat the last numbers number of your static IP address for your PlayStation. You're going to enable all of these and save settings. You're going to reboot your router and your PlayStation and check if you have two or one. If that still doesn't do it. You're going to have to enter in your URL 192.168.2.1 I don't think it'll connect for me. Yeah, no. So what this did for me when I entered it, it opened up my modem. Um, well, first, the reason you have a NAT type type 3 is because you have a modem which is provided by your internet service and a, a router, which is the one you bought, the Linksys. And the modem is has a firewall that won't allow you to enable UPnP for reports and it has a really strict firewall and so it restricts it to that type 3 so what you need to do is go to that site 2.1 I mean and you're gonna look for when IP renew and release you're gonna hit release and then it's gonna do something and then you're gonna look for bridge bridge mode or something like that and you're gonna hit bridge mode you should then unplug your turn off your modem unplug your Linksys router for 10 seconds turn on your modem again plug back in your router uh, and restart your PS3 and see if that gives you two or one for me that did it my my modem was restricting me to three and so whatever I did on this site wouldn't 
wouldn't affect like these settings were pretty much useless they weren't doing anything and if that site is not there and doesn't or doesn't work you need to call your internet provided provider and tell them you want your NAT type is 3 and you want to bridge your modem to your router that should open up your NAT type to 2 or 1 on my PS3 I finally got it from 3 to 2 so it's a uh, <coughs> NAT type but when I go to play Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops it says open so that's pretty much all you need to know. I'll have all links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.